Bonsoir, Montréal. Yeah, exciting to be here once again in Canada. Canada has so many things uh, that America used to have. Things like, you know, an economy and uh, the ability to buy a mortgage, banks and stuff like that. <laughs> it's the first time in my entire career that I've wanted to be paid in Canadian currency. I don't want any pictures of dead presidents, man. Just birds and queens on the money. All I want to do is Luna, 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 and a tune, tune America takes a lot of guff, right? People are like, well, you're always starting wars. There's a good reason. Those are wars of liberation. We're liberating oil from countries that are hiding it from us. <laughs> We're all about peace as well. You may notice that our president is conducting three wars and has a Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> you think when he walks into the Oval Office, the Peace Prize goes, I don't feel so good. <laughs> I'll tell you something now. When we're not taking over the world anymore, when we're not running things, when China takes over, you're gonna miss us. <laughs> oh yes, you are. You're gonna miss our tender loving. When an alarm goes off at 4.45 in the morning, all over Canada. Wake up, Canada. Work harder. Work harder, Canada. Now the news. Government great, according to government survey. Wee, 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 wee. Tonight's television program, manganese, the useful alloy. <laughs> you are having too many baby girls, Canada. Stop having baby girls. If you have an ugly child, return it to the government center and replace it with an attractive one. Wee, 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 wee. Stop eating poutine. You are too fat, Canada. Stop eating donuts. And what is this hockey? Everybody meet for gymnastics at six o'clock. <laughs> Obama came into the office with so much promise, right? In fact, he promised us hope and change. And it's kind of morphed over the last couple of years into we hope someone rich drops some change. It may not have escaped your attention that this is a calamitous century. Greece failed. Not the musical. <laughs> How can a country that's given so much to Western society and been so influential on us fail, right? I mean, look at what the Greeks gave us. Geometry, philosophy, logic, older men mentoring young boys in a very intimate way. <laughs> but we enjoy something that previous generations do not enjoy, right? Because there's so much tumult in the world. We enjoy this. When our grandparents start in about how hard the old days were, you can tell them to bugger straight off. In my day, we had the depression. Grandma, <laughs> Let me ask you something about the depression, grandmother. During the depression, did the government give $700 billion to the banks that stole it from us so they could steal it again? <laughs> Is that what the New Deal was? You guys got roads and hospitals and infrastructure. We got an iPad that's lousy to watch porn on. <laughs> and look at the cultural renaissance of the Depression. There was Duke Ellington and Barbara Stanwyck, Frank Capra, Christopher Isherwood, the WPA project. We got Justin Bieber. <laughs> We're coming up short on the cultural ledger here. But World War II was a <laughs> show set, Don LaBouche, Grand Mare. World War II is easy peasy lemon squeezy. First of all, you knew precisely who you were fighting because it was clearly labeled on the war. The world. <laughs> Our last president, Caligula. <laughs> and yes, we're lucky he didn't appoint a horse to the Senate before he left. <laughs> told us we were fighting evil and evildoers. <laughs> That's a trifle more complicated, don't you think so, Grandmother? How do we know when we're done fighting evil when Frodo throws the ring into the volcano? <laughs> Thank you very much and good night, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, George Bush says two gay people getting married would violate the sanctity of marriage. The sanctity of marriage. The sanctity.
Is anybody here married? <laughs> Does it feel like a gift from God to you? Literally, I've got one of the biggest faces. <laughs> it's like the moon. I'm probably affecting your menstrual cycle just being this close. <laughs>